Loser semis, this is about where I'd expect to see this. Right, yeah. Rematch from winners. Yeah, I'd, I'd be really interested to see Slaps versus Lima and Grands because I don't know how much Ike experience Lima has. Right, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, I don't know, that sounds like a really strange matchup. It sounds really hard for Ike, but, you know, if he doesn't have too much matchup knowledge, Slaps has plenty of bayonet knowledge. Yeah. He's played against Daryl Link and Iggy. Yeah, they've health. been around for ages. Yep. You say ages, even though Bayonetta has been around for like what, 13 months? Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. <laughs> but, but we've had it. We've like we've had like very, very experienced, very dedicated Bayo main since day one. I mean, that was Arrow Link's Arrow like, Link. pick going into it. We could hear his pop off throughout DFW no. whenever Bayo was. No, announced. like when we when we saw Bayonetta, all of us collectively thought. I wonder what Sergio's doing right now. Oh, I knew what Sergio was doing. <laughs> Jumping around, screaming. <laughs> like, like that, was, that was back when he was still popping off, too. So, like, you yeah, know. Yeah. You know his neighbors were like, what's going on? Is everything okay? <laughs> Better than okay. But back to this match. Yeah, back to it. This is this is running pretty even. Slaps, yeah, yeah. they had about the same amount of wins in neutral, but Slaps has just been getting like a lot more bang for his buck. Yeah, yeah, it's not been a fairly like not a crazy match so far. Lots of like small damage back and forth, no huge reads. Pretty standard play Whoa! except that up air. Hello, catching that double jump. That up air is so brutal. Yeah, it's like a little death helicopter. Nope, probably aiming for the ledge jump there. Not able to sniff it out. I would, I would like to see one of Ike's custom upbees to just be that animation, <laughs> but you just tap it and you go up faster. That'd be funny. He just like he spins sideways instead, <laughs> like, literally helicopters up like DK. I think, I think both his side B and his upbee should be replaced by his up air animation. <laughs> oh, yeah, not gonna come that chest. Right. Give us his already hit kill percent. How did this happen so quickly? Lots of hits, lots of hits. That was a just fast second stock. Yes. Yeah, I feel like losing the first stock kind of put Gibbous on tilt. Like he, didn't, he he went in to like try to do more interactions and and like fight head to head. And against Ike, that's a pretty scary thing. I mean, like yeah, even if you're like as slippery as Greninja, like Ike's got hitboxes. He will put on if you're like if you're within jab range of him, he's got lots of scary stuff. Yeah. Town and City game two. Uh, boy, I mean after that game one, it's pretty easy to question anything. Right, yeah, uh, definitely a lot of momentum Gibbous has to make up for. I think Gibbous really just wants to get those kills off earlier, you know, especially after that last set where Slaps was constantly living to 130, 150. Yeah, yeah, and dealing with Ike with rage is not Ew. a pleasant thing. No. Okay. Oh, able to find the combo after into air, but still lots of pressure. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, he's, you know, he's, he's going to be all right. He's going to be all right. Got the tech. All right. It's just nerve-wracking. Uh-huh. I know I get killed by that 10 times out of 10. Excellent. Air dodge bait. Yeah, Slaps is, I mean, really, the, the thing is that Slaps has been in control of the stage almost all of the time in these matches. Yeah. And when you do that as Ike, you get so much wiggle room to do whatever you want. Absolutely. Really. Yeah. I mean, like, he's got a lot of different ways to safely attack whenever he's got his opponent cornered. It's just cornering them is usually the hard part. Wow, that pivot grab range reaching out super far. Ike has a super good pivot grab. We just haven't been seeing much of it lately. Forward air, really well spaced. Uh, oh, kind of, yeah, <laughs> it's a dangerous side B on the stage, but able to slip by. So, man, when you watch, you think that the side B should be like you say, oh, you should have punished that. That's so obvious, but but yeah, it's it's a pretty deceptively fast move. Yeah, Ooh, dash tag. All right. <laughs> oh, yep, able to slip in with the up B. Yeah. Hopping around the to toss up. Oh. Okay. Awkward positioning up. Throw on the wow. top platform. Going to do it. Yeah, that's quite dangerous. That probably going to kill like a solid 80%. Yeah, if you get enough rage on the on the game. Especially when it's the platforms that are super, super high up. Yeah. yeah. Okay, give us with the short hops. Really good by him there because it really shows Slaps that he's ready to throw out an aerial if Slaps tries to react to those jumps. Exactly, yeah. It's a really good way of just con for characters in general, just controlling the space around you and in front of you. However, it is really dangerous to do against a character like Ike because when you space that those jumps out and you say, I can throw out my forwarder whenever I want to, Slaps has bigger aerials. He and does. if you keep yeah. short hopping, he'll just well, slap you. Right. For <laughs> lack of a better word, with that forward air, and uh, he will kill you with it. Yeah, like forward air. Even just like catching, like if you try to drift backwards, like catching it with dash attack is a thing. Mm -hmm. um, 
I feel like Ike has, has a lot of options to like hard call out certain things. It's just none of it's very safe, so you don't uh, you can't just throw it out willy nilly. Yeah. I mean it's the sort of stuff that Slaps would do to beat Gibbous in the past when he would be playing Greninja. Is he would call out their short hops mm. and I mean I think I think there was a great set at Shockwave seventy nine, I think. Yeah. Where he, that was really the story is that by the end of the third game, Slaps is calling out all these short hops from Gibbous. Mm -hmm. Oh, the down air. Oh, excellent air dodge. Bait. Just wow. landing and going for the up smash instead of trying for a back air. Totally different story from that game one. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Well, I feel like it was like it was a similar story, just completely flipped. This time it was Gibbous taking the stock pretty early and then just riding the momentum home. Definitely a longer second stock compared a longer. to the first game. Long oh, that, that is true. Gibbous <laughs> kind of... Because I kind of like... My, my ADD kicked in, and uh -huh. I wasn't paying attention for 10 seconds. And when uh, I looked yeah. back, Gibbous was at 70. Right, And I yeah. said, what happened? Just Ike things. But now going into game three, Smashville. Which Gibbous would have had to have gentlemen to because Slaps won game one on Smashville. Oh, that is true, yeah. Okay, there we go. Actually managing to covering the up behind. Not ton a huge damage on the neutral, but still any damage at all. Just saying you can't get away with this for free can be really, really important. And it's it amazing how different this set is going to go now that there's no duck hunt. Because <laughs> right. normally Gibbous would end up just going to duck hunt. Mm -hmm. And that would give him, one, a bonus recovery option. But two, it would make it harder for Slaps to get around to him. Uh -huh. And now Gibbous really has to fight this close combat with Ike. Yeah, fighting close combat with Ike. Scary, scary stuff. Excellent the uh, call out on the dash in. Yeah, looking back on it. I think getting rid of Duck Hunt was the right choice. As much as it pains me as a Falcon right. player to say it. <laughs> yeah. It's, I mean, that was actually a really good choice. Yeah, uh, personally, I really like, like uh, fighting on the stage. But, you know, since uh, a lot of people don't really do that. <laughs> yeah. So being able to, like, you know, attack the ducks and have the dog come up the little tree. Was that a back air? Yes, sir. Back air finishing that stock off. Uh, and those, both of them just letting the balloon go away. I'm so disappointed in both of them. Yeah. Their merits oh. all around. Yeah. We need to bring back the balloon counter, man. I love balloon counter. That's that's how you knew, like, that's how you knew how badly somebody won. <laughs> Not even if it was <laughs> right, like a two right. stock and you had twenty percent. How many balloons you got? Yeah, if you had two stock, twenty percent, and you got three balloons in one minute, that means you destroyed that other guy. Absolutely. Ooh, got him with the startup of that neutral air. Yeah, it's looking kind of rough for Gibbous now that Slaps is the one, once again, taking the first stock, taking the momentum. It's really oh. just the fact that he doesn't always have those platforms to rely on. And even then, that one Smashville platform, Slaps only has one platform to cover with a sword that's nearly as big as the platform. Right, yeah, up air going to cover nearly that entire there thing. There you go. Okay, there it is. The Uppy going to find the Gimp there. Get, the Slaps hasn't really been recovering with Uppy much because he's been recovering high, high enough to not have to do so, but that time, force too low. Force too low by the water circuit, which is a really good setup by Gibbous. Normally, he just misses the turnaround to get that uh, that up beat back on the stage. Dangerous dash attacks. Does not want to get caught out there. Okay. Gibbous. Up, sort of up here. Yeah, yeah. Racking up some damage. 50%. Not bad. This is certainly back within his grasp. Oh, that time, though. Don't worry about it. Oh. Again. Again, with the air dodge bait up air. Just, like, counter, perhaps. Mm. Where where you do that double jump, except the moment that you would air dodge, counter. That would have been good. But yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's like a, a thing I feel like people should just... Once you get good enough, there's just no reason to air dodge. Yeah, I mean, Gibbous, that is reason. one of Gibbous' weaknesses, is yeah. that he does air dodge Air dodge randomly. Much. So Slaps will now be playing Austin. I believe so. Going to be Loser's Finals. We'll be playing Austin. Stop playing friendlies with Lima. You might <laughs> have to fight him. Why are you doing that? There you go. That's a good idea. Yeah. Interesting that there are... You, a lot of times players that are like going to know they're going to play... Or like, no, it's possible to play each other in tournament. Uh, usually, often won't play friendlies with each other. Just so that they don't like get a better feel for how they're doing that day. But yeah. I guess with how oft often, like, 